Welcome everyone to today's video. So back in Berlin and as you can see I'm not trying to skip satisfying all the P3 fans. So I was going to use the latest ISO image from the server with hopefully an installer small enough to load here on the P3 and also all the shared libraries in there to actually load. So mount this, mount the USB thumb drive, MT media, so media. Let's rsync the ISO files because I have here also other files moving files around here for testing and such for exact scan of the ARCAD PDF files and such. So I'm not rewriting the whole thumb drive, I'm only rsyncing all the files and that should leave all the other files on there and also hopefully not copy all the data, saving some rewrite cycles on this flash storage and then reboot in a second. And I will also probably custom firmware the P3 Slim. As I said, I have a Slim at home because when Sony removed other OS, I tried not to upgrade the firmware and once even I accidentally, or not so accidentally, I wanted to watch some Star Trek movie a decade ago or something and that Blu-ray disc had new encryption keys. So I was forced to update the firmware and then I thought, yeah, whatever. I have other power PC machines like a G5, so okay, then update the firmware. But then I regretted this rather quickly and due to that I then brought a Slim for home use as this was the office PS3 for power PC and cell development. And then I put this in storage, not to update this further having future hacks in mind and here we are so let's reboot now with all this new development of course it's nice to have a second machine because you saw in some earlier video once it rebooted into game os which confused me and i couldn't immediately get back to our petite boot in linux so obviously it's always good to have a second machine especially as those early ones are known to get warm and potentially some uh, desoldering or chip overheating issue from hell. So a second slim one also. Uh, this is of course also funny. I think I never had this. Why is part of this picture distorted? Interesting. Let's see if toggling the display here helps. This I really never had so far. Really strange what you always get when you record a YouTube video. Yeah, okay, maybe display problem. Um, so what are this right? It should automatically pick up here as install. And let's see, yeah, probably could be the latest. Let's see how this is going. And yeah, as I said, I never had custom firmware on the Slim. Let's hope the firmware is not new enough to prevent any custom firmware on that. And again, second machine is always nice. And also it is more energy efficient. Also never a bad idea to save some electricity. So, and this again doesn't work with error while loading shared libraries. Uh, pity. Then I still, why do we not have, do we not search for all the libdirs or do we not extract? Because this is a special build flavor where we are defaulting. I know this shell doesn't work. Okay. So back to the drawing board, but at least it did not error out of memory. So let me quickly check on the server, quickly respin this and say so you see even the simple things take hours of multiple spins and here's some file missing and there's some optimization and they're out of memory. So don't forget to share like and subscribe to support all the time consuming tinkering and as soon as we have this ISO ready for you all to install, we will also continue with graphic hacking. First we had to solve this anyway. So while I usually log in from my other main workstation desk there, I thought probably interesting to show this coding here. Anyway, so I already saw what the problem is, but to document this here for you that you learn something and see something. So we have here this package map and we have here the configured libc, which usually is glibc, but could also be uclibc or whatever. And we had this conditionally here to also add the 32-bit variant and I was not reading it carefully enough. B 
because this was only spark and I thought I had here in general something but this is why we are missing the 32-bit version obviously we also need this for power PC so what was the name here that was power PC with the space of this which keyboard layout is this even oh, German. so we need here if this config Maybe something like this, that it looks nice. Or this config, so... Maybe sort it alphabetically, so... Then this... This equals 1. But we don't really need quotes here. We need this in quotes because it could be completely unset for the case of x86 and other builds so this or this and we also have MIPS 64 or do we? Hmm, let's see but I guess I need to make this a global option for now we have here N32 but this is actually using the System lib C. This is slightly different actually, so then we don't need this. But as we only have two, then we could also just write it like this. I was preparing for having to write more than two there. Then we make this 4 PC 64 32 or Spark 64 32, but actually hmm, slightly named differently. Anyway, as I said in earlier videos, and here also the comment already a global multi-lib package multiplexer would be nice for this so one day we will do this then let's build this again target makes no sense to develop graphic accelerations nobody can use at home this should be relatively quick just under a minute or so just rebuilding the final image just some warnings here that some packages we have not built but that's not that important this is just stuff that your build will miss doesn't really matter so most of the stuff and then we can double check what we got here. So build PowerPC 6432 tool chain disks and then find RT in but we still don't have this. Why not? We have it in the big second stage though that is of course not good not to have it in the small second stage then I need to fiddle around a little bit more there why it's missing in the small stage from a first glance I guess this is because we skip out of this loop as soon as we found one um, or do we for all in need to read this conditional stuff here while found for all these libraries Grab. Mm. So actually the problem is that we error out there. Can I scroll back? Uh, I also should configure my screens with larger scroll back. So the problem is that I changed this here to remove duplicate files from the init RD. We've done this in an earlier video and the problem is that we error out. Actually I didn't see this. We stop creating this because does it even work in this order? So we error out because creating a zoom link where the source doesn't exist or something. So we need to reshuffle this again. So only do this deduplication after all the actual processing is done, not to error out in the middle with files missing already. this could work. Move this loop down here at the end for both stages. If exist, delete. Okay, let's see what happens. As I said already, testing, more testing. And if you thought you were done, 
then you find something new. What? Oh, this is our loop. So now we iterated there much longer over all of this. And removing files from the init RD that looks also about right. So and now we didn't stop in the middle. Then I can also remove this debug output there that was in echo starters. We have many. Where was it even in the loop of shared libraries here? This was new for debugging. This kind of stuff you often have to debug with some prints. As you can see, mostly moved this code down there. Added here the PowerPC conditional for the 32-bit flavor of the libc. And also here capitalized this status just for consistency. This is what we moved down and there in the middle was also somewhere, I guess. Oh no, I didn't have to change this loop. I think this was mostly just moving this down. I think the rest probably yeah, worked already. So then create this ISO. Then R syncs this ISO from somewhere to here. Have fun, yeah, let's see. R sync is always a great friend. Optimizing such transfers can already mount, yeah, already done. Also mount, hello, mount does not exist. Why not? It's in there. Or maybe other than STD. B. Hmm. Also mount the ISO, rsync again. This is some drive, obviously. And then let's see how far we are getting now. Did I rebuild this? Why is this rsyncing this again? Hmm. T2 target copying all these files, maybe. No, actually they should, or they copied for the ISO. Maybe they copied for the ISO. Okay, anyway, let's see what we are getting. <sighs> One day I do something about this stupid fast typing, shift with space, or maybe I typed here the German assets there. Really annoying if you have stray half Unicode glue left over or non-breaking space nonsense with fast typing with shift or alt or people who coded this unicode nonsense clearly were not using an international keyboard while it's cool that this boot entries appear dynamically it's hanging a little bit but whatever i always find something to complain though it is normal that this first run is not finding it because we are not auto mounting all of them we only try the first removable and this is probably also removable there so manually choosing the sum drive small second stage and we finally yeah, okay it clears the screen that is for another day but we finally first time ever have this here again and stone yeah not sure but no it looks like a could work. Let's just for the fun. So I will not test install everything. Maybe I do this another day because I have some historic sources on there from the Xorg driver and such that I'm not sure I have a backup somewhere else. I should upload them really soon. So installer again. I want to load the non-small stage. See if the optimized non-small stage now also fits into memory. Not sure. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's hanging and then. The only thing that I know already is that we do not have a module for this creation of this kboot file. So that will be the only thing that you will need to do manually for this ISO. I hope that is not too much to ask to create your etc kboot. You can copy this from the ISO and maybe just use it actually. One other day I for sure will add something to the setup stuff to create it for PowerPC. But for this first step you have to do this. Yeah, we are maybe, yeah, short right, probably out of memory, huh? Yeah, 100% so. Even with optimizations, you cannot use the full second stage, but that should not be necessary. I upload this ISO now and you can test install it. Or should I test install it? I think my time is definitely better spent hacking on this graphic stuff. That is also what half of the subscribers are here for. So 
you can test install it, just report what doesn't work. And you can probably, I have a 4K T2 virtual machine test install video here on YouTube. He said you can probably, or you read the old fashioned handbook there in HTML and PDF. But basically you just run the installer, choose a hard drive and such, of course, only do this when you know what you're doing. Do a backup, you may lose data if you just click on format and partition and create file system and such on stuff that you are not wanting to format. So prepare for data loss, don't sue me if you lose data. Be warned to change the hard drive to another one, do a backup, know what you're doing, and if not, read the manual, you are your own warranty. And again, backup, if you are unsure, just install another hard drive in there. I have another video about this. The hard drive was somewhere in this door. Somewhere was the hard drive door here or there. Check my other video. And if you completely don't know what you're doing, ask here on the channel, on the comments, and again, report what you find not working. And also again, you need to manually choose your either your optical CD drive or your thumb drive. You need to use a small stage due to the memory constraints and after installation you need to create your etc kboot conf and i think that's it that should probably be all but again leave in the comments what works and what doesn't and i will continue the next days with the graphic work because that is for sure way more interesting than optimizing the installer for small memory systems so i wish you a splendid holiday season and i will see if i at least get some 2d acceleration working until Christmas, maybe, maybe not, not so many days left, but maybe at least New Year. And until then, see you next time. And we also need to shut down this. What do we have here? Do we have shut down already? All right, we extract the small second stage first, so we have the vital program, so that should allow us to shut down already. And even using a nice vintage small and compact Sony thumb drive just as a Sony theme here. I have actually two but the other one is already defect so your mileage may vary with those. Not sure why the other is defect though if it exceeded the maximum rights of the flash storage maybe whatever. <laughs>